The Tier of the welcome to our weekly crypto news and market update video. And today we have some particularly good news from FTX. This is very rare, but now FTX Japan allows a total withdrawal of funds. View this, rejoice the escape. So it's just for Japan and it's just FTX Japan. And it's nothing that is cool or good about FTX, it's just the case and the fact that FTX Japan had some money that people were allowed to withdraw. And only one day later, over 50 million US dollars were withdrawn from SDX. People had their money and said congratulations on your escape. People not believed it, but people in Japan got their money out of FTX. But it's only in Japan. And that only part of the money was transferred. And that the FTX investors watching from the rest of the world remain quite hopeful of a similar outcome in their country. So here some good news to start this video because the price numbers are not that good based on the last week. The US dollars is near to see seven week high. Bitcoin price is under 24k. You can see it after the resistance building we saw quite small but we saw sell-offs. Because the PCE sparks fresh doubts on inflation, it not went down, it went up. So based on the news and the data, the US personal consumption expenditures index which was 4.7 instead of 4.3, suggesting that inflation was not ebbing as quickly as hoped and that now the, the Fed and Jerome Powell needs to have higher interest rate hikes as they want to do and they wanted not to push it as hard as needed. But now maybe they need to push it harder and higher and this of course would lead to a downtrend in digital asset markets and in all other investment markets too. Here comes the speculation of 50 basis points in March again and it's everywhere. So people are saying if the price stability continues here, one could make the argument that price is slowing in the sell side momentum against this new lower high support. But the US dollar challenges a 2023 high. It went up and the strong US dollars is not good for investment markets. So we need really to take a look on how this will behave within the next days and weeks. But the inflation topic is back on the table and seems to have higher impact within the next days and weeks. The first legal system experiment in the metaverse took place in Colombia and the Colombian court recently hosted its first legal trial in the metaverse with the court magistrate saying it felt more real than a video call. And the case lasted two hours and was brought by a regional transport union against the police and will progress partly in the metaverse. The verdict could also could be given in the metaverse and this is quite interesting because the judge said this was more real than a video call. So she said if she could choose between Zoom or whatever video call platform instead of seeing someone live, she would do it in the metaverse. Of course, the real meetings in the court room would be perfect. But when this is not possible, she's saying she would want to go to metaverse instead of a video call. And this is quite more realistic. So here we can see a new adoption is coming along and that governments and as well departments and stuff like this are working toward this adoption. Anyways, the last seven days were quite red. Everything's in the red. And the high performer or the high market cap coins are only down like 3%. But then you can see around 10 of the market cap rank is going down 9%, 15% and stuff like this. So else really suffered within the last week. And this is where we can see the market cap starts with 1.13 to 1.4 trillion and now hanging at 1.0. So quite a small but visible downtrend without any positivity in the market, just down and consolidation phase. And this is visible as well when taking a look on the market. So we had built a resistance at around 25, 100. We touched it multiple times. So you can see here three times and never broke it. So here the resistance was quite strong. Then this negative data came along and we saw a first leg down, a rejection from the resistant as as well negative market news. We tried to build a support at around 23,600. So this already was a downtrend of around nearly 6% and we then even went down around 9%. So here the support building wanted to took place. You've seen we had a 
a smaller counter movement after support building but then we touched it once again and then a third time it not lasted support was broken to the downside and then we built it a new support down here at exactly 23k so this is the support we're taking a look on right now but the support we had before now already turned to resistance that this is not quite a bullish sign so here we need to take a look on whether the world markets are positive or not if the world markets are positive we could go a little bit into consolidation with a positive momentum and then may heed to this resistance at 25k if not if we think another consolidation week or quite negative week without new investments we could easily go down to 23k and if we're not holding this support then you can see here that the next big support is down here at 21500 so then here would be a big gap without any builded support and this of course could be negative for the market so if you want to invest wait until there's a clear trend because right now we're not seeing any clear trend and um, investments could be risky so only trade when you or your strategy is seeing some good opportunities hope you like this video if you do so i would love you to comment like or share this video and really here's next time when it comes to weekly crypto news market update provided by trox